21 days more before Operation Ofex Venom event ends. This means we got plenty of time farming those new loots, and arcanes that we can trade later for some hefty amount of platinum. To help you do this, I've created a video which gives out some super helpful tips to make farming Operation Ofex Venom a lot easier and cheaper. Cheaper in the sense that you won't need to form your weapons and corn both a lot, but you will still beat every enemy in the event, and do it in the fastest time possible. So, sit back and I hope that you find this video informative. Before anything else, I would highly suggest not to solo this event at all. You can, but it would take some time and effort compared to having 4 people in a group, on with random groups in the public queue. You will need 4 bodies to down sentients and orfex easily, and you will need these things in your team to make farming even easier. First of all, the best corn bot in my opinion for this mission is Void Rig. I've said this in my recent video, but some people said that Bone Widow is better since her Iron Bride ability is capable of damaging the Orphix from any angle. Well, try to damage this Orphix then. You can glide and use your thrusters to somehow reach the Orphix and smack it in any of its body parts but, we are talking about making this mission as easy as possible. Instead of that, you can just shoot it down with Void Rig's fourth ability. In fact, this Cornbot's fourth ability is one of the best, if not, the best when it comes to taking down Armored Orphix health fast. I'm not saying that you can't use Bone Widow in this mission, but what I'm trying to say is that Void Rig is better when it comes to farming this mission. Bone Widow is tougher than Void Rig, but Void Rig dish out more damage compared to Bone Widow which is more needed in this event. Don't worry about Void Rig's survivability, as I will be giving you a few tips later which will take care of that problem. For now, you can invest one former in your Void Rig and have these mods to farm the Orphix Venom event. Like I've said earlier, I created this guide to be friendly to those who want to do the event but on a budget. The mods I've added here are just essential mods for Void Rig to somehow be good in a team meant for Operation Orphix Venom. Streamline, Flow, and continuity are basically for his fourth ability. This will lessen the energy drain, and as well as give you plenty of energy to sustain the ability. Intensify is basically for his fourth ability damage also, but it also helps in gaining more damage absorption for his second ability. While vitality, steel fiber, and repair are basically for survivability. If I can add more slots on this build, then I would give it more shield and shield regeneration. For his arc bex, it's all about putting a lot of critical, corrosive, and raw damage to kill the armored orphix fast. With this build, you can have 223k total damage, and you will be able to mow down not just the armored orphix, but also those sentients, grineers, and corpus factions. Now, I can't deny the fact that even with the efficiency build I've shown earlier for Void Rig, energy consumption will still be a problem. But don't worry, as we can take care of this by using Hildren's fourth ability to spawn energy orbs. Honestly, you won't even need that new Rage Cornboth mod if you have Hildren in your team. The build is basically high range and efficiency with lots of shield mods. This mod setup is specifically tuned for her fourth ability to lift a lot of enemies and help us spawn energy orbs for our Void Rig. Other frames can do this, like Necro's Desecrate will allow you to spawn energy orbs also, or Protea's Dispensary. But in my opinion, Hildrin's Aegis Storm is more efficient since it can spawn multiple energy orbs in the fastest time possible. All you need to do is lift a couple of enemies with Aegis Storm after killing the big Horfex, restore your Void Rig energy, and proceed to the next room. Take note that only Corpus and Grineers can be affected by Aegis Storm so you should do it after every big Horfex is killed. I know it's kind of weird, and this exposes one of the main problems of corn bots. Energy restore is kind of lackluster for these Orokin robots at the moment, and I'm hoping that in the future, Digital Extremes would somehow integrate Arcane Energize to these bots. Nonetheless, Hildren is your best bet right now in getting rid of that energy problems. Another problem with corn bots is if they die in this mission, you will need to wait for a minute until you can use them. This is annoying, and would definitely eat up some precious time while farming or fix Venom event. You could add former in your Void Rig, and put other survivability mods or, you can talk with your team and bring an Inaros with Combat Discipline as his Aura mod. Or better yet, have at least 3 Inaros with Combat Discipline, and then 1 Hildren for Energy Restore in your or fix Venom team. Combat Discipline Aura considers corn bots as allies, allowing them to take advantage of the healing feature per enemy kill. So far, this is one of the best ways of keeping corn bot alive in Orphix Venom. Aside from modding with survivability mods, this is advisable, 
especially if you are using Void Rig since he has no abilities to heal like Bone Widow, with at least 3 combat discipline alone in your team, you will never have a problem with survivability. Next, let's discuss those Orphix Resonators, or those things you need to destroy first before you can damage the big armored Orphix. As you might know, the Orphix is protected by 3 or more Orphix Resonators near it and can only be damaged when all Resonators are destroyed, opening up its center blue cavity to spawn more sentient troops to help defend it. These Orphix Resonators have 3000 object health, and they don't have any immunity, however, critical hits won't affect these objects and the only way to damage them is by increasing your ore damage and with some elemental damage mods. There are two best ways to one-shot these resonators, one is with the help of your operator void blast, while the other method is by simply whacking it with your cornbot's melee, slide or slam attack. But there's another viable option, there are two weapons with of infinite punch through and, you can use them to hit these orphix resonators even through walls. Both Zenistar and Fluctus are great in destroying these orphix resonators as they will allow you to damage these objects from everywhere. Since we can't use our frames in the orphix bubble, Fluctus is the best gun for this job. This is best paired with Void Rig as a utility gun but, don't expect it to be good against the big armored orphix. It can deal damage against sentients and other factions in the event, but it doesn't deal any significant damage against the big horfix. As I've mentioned earlier, Void Rig's fourth ability is the best when it comes to damaging the eye of the big armored orphix, but more Salon is also a viable option, especially for those who want to stick with their bone widow. The alternate fire of this weapon can one-shot the eyes of the armored orphix but it has its limits. When your team decides to go deeper, say, you want to go full 36 waves of the event, it would take some hits to take down the orphix. Occasionally, you will be using the primary fire of the weapon since the alternate fire requires you to charge it with enemy kills before you can use it. Now, these are the tips that I have for you to make the Orphix Venom event a lot easier. I hope that you will find this information useful, and I'm also hoping that if I miss something important that could further make the event easier, then feel free to share it in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching, Squad Leader signing off. This is the future. Human error. This is the future.